Hello and welcome to the tutorial on addition. In this tutorial we will learn how to add four digit numbers and thousands and we're going to do this in the vertical format. Okay, this is the final step before we move on to four digit numbers, two four digit numbers. So let's look at our first example. plus okay I've spaced the numbers out so we know what we're doing and our question is 3486 plus 4000 let's label the columns units tens hundreds and thousands and let's begin our addition as we always do on the right hand side first three I'm just going to do this because the digits are being added to zero so the 486 on the top row which is over here is not going to change now we're going to move on to the thousands 3 plus 4 3 plus 4 is 7 so our answer is 7486 now that was a nice easy one which didn't have any carrying let's have a look at our next one plus okay nice neat columns so this time we have 5685 plus 7000 okay you don't have to but we're going to label the columns again thousands now let's begin our addition now we know that if we're adding zeros that does not change Okay, the top three digits here, on the top row, the three digits, 6, 8, 5, do not change. So now we move on to the thousands. 5 plus 7. So 5 plus 7 is 12. Put 1 here and 2 here. Okay, we've now got 1, this one over here, in a new column. Now what is that new column? The new column, I'm just going to change colors for this, is the... T dash th. That's the ten thousands. Okay? Ten thousands. If you imagine, and I'll just put a little arrow over here, uh, sorry, a little dashed line over here. To the right of this, we have the hundreds, tens units. On the left of this, we've got the thousands. So T, and I'll just write it again over here. I'll just put it over here. Is the ten thousands. Okay? The th over here is thousands. So we've got thousands and we've got ten thousands. Now there are no ten thousands here, no ten thousands here, but there is one at the bottom over here, so we add that in. Now how do we say this? Let's put a comma between the thousands and the hundreds. So how do we say this? It is twelve thousand six hundred and eighty-five. Twelve thousand six hundred and eighty-five. Okay, let's uh, look at one more example, and this one we're going to write in the horizontal format. So imagine you're in a test in school or, or at home, and you see this in your worksheet. You have to work out the answer. I'm going to scroll right down for this. You have to work out the answer, but the question also says you have to write the question and show your workings in the vertical format. So the first step is to rewrite the question in columns. Let's do that over here. Okay, nice neat columns. Plus nine and then zero, zero, zero. Okay, we're not gonna label the columns this time. We're just gonna go ahead and do the addition. So we've got 2 plus 0, 7 plus 0, 6 plus 0. So we can just write those in. They do not change. 672. Now how about the thousands? We've got 8 plus 9. Now 8 plus 9 is, you should know this, 8 plus 9 is 17. 1 here and 7 here. 
As for the ten thousands, there's zero here, zero here, but there is one over here. So we write that in. So the question 8,672 plus 9,000 is 17,672. Okay, the hundreds, tens, and units does not change. It's just the thousands that change. And that is addition of four-digit numbers and thousands using the vertical format.